Hey, what's up guys? Angry Ray here, <clears throat> and today I'm bringing you a Archage World Boss solo. Uh, the World Boss is the Treant Ramun in Southern Dewstone Plains. He's pretty easy to find. Um, disclaimer here, I do pot during the video. Is it necessary to buff? No. Should uh, you buff? Probably I would for your first attempt. Um, it's not a hard boss solo. Um, it is necessary for health pots. Uh, you're going to need at least Nui's Novas, all that stuff. My gear is full Aurora Heroic. I have the Heroic buff. Uh, tier 3 Hassle, Unique, Max Temper, Jola's Shield, Heroic. Uh, I think it's like 106% Temper. Uh, you'll need at least 20 Nui's Novas, 100 Desert Fires, 20 Kraken's Mites, 100 Mossy Pools, and standard buffs. I mean, I would. Uh, the boss is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. He has skills that uh, will hurt. And without further ado, I'll go ahead and walk you guys through that. So basically, um, <clears throat> this is me just kind of <laughs> gloating a little bit in front of the camera. I didn't actually intend on making this a guide, but. Um, I figured why the hell not. So when you initiate the boss, you're going to want to obviously hit your buffs first. Uh, it's not really necessary to buff, but I did. And it makes it a lot easier. I'm playing Blighter. It's not a bad spec. Not a spec people normally... Uh, Use for world boss solos, they usually go archer, but archers are pussies. Uh, so obviously you see, <clears throat> when you first initiate, he's gonna put that little circle up that's gonna do like 1500 damage to you. I believe it's magic damage. You're gonna want to get out of that as fast as possible. I backdrop. He'll last you back in. And that's when you want to glide out. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I don't have a push to talk because I'm recording this over Movie Maker, which is terrible doesn't help that I have a kind of cough right now. And he's pretty straightforward, just uh, heal up when you have to. And as you can see, he's going to lasso you back into that circle. He'll do the circle every once in a while, which kind of makes this boss fight annoying. He spawns adds. The adds, they don't hit very hard. They're pretty easy to kill, but you're definitely not going to want to ignore the adds. They are significant if he manages to spawn up more than three or four, which he will do. <coughs> Sorry. And he lassos me back in, I just gotta focus. This time I hit invincibility just because the uh, circle was lasting a little bit too long for me and I didn't want to have to glide out down the ads. He'll spawn them in uh, groups of one or two. I don't believe he goes high. I'm gonna get out of that circle. He lasts me back in. Summoning his ads up again. He'll lasso you regardless of whether he has a circle or not. When he lassos you in without the circle, it's kind of a, it's kind of nice, especially if you're melee. I don't normally see a lot of melee people trying to solo world bosses, so I don't know what that's all about. I love melee. Melee is kind of gimped in this game, in my opinion. Unless you play something stupid like a Shadow Blade or a Dark Runner, then it's kind of broken, but. I usually stick with Blighter and Abolisher. The compliments having plate. Just gotta get these ads down. Work the boss down. This is where these mana pots start coming in. Like, uh, if you if you start getting low on mana, this fight's over. He's not a very hard boss, like I said. 
He's pretty straightforward. He doesn't have much variety to his attacks. It's just about tanking that circle while you're getting out of it. And uh, really just tanking his, his basic attack. He does have that earthen grip that you saw, but that can be broken with Bondbreaker. He doesn't use it more often than you could use Bondbreaker. So. That circle is the killer though. It does like 1500 damage a second. you stay in that circle, you're just absolutely dead. I'm not sure if Protective Wings works on the circle or not from Ormancy. I haven't tried it yet. I'll probably, next time I, uh, next time I solo this boss, I'll probably go abolish her and see if I can do it like that. I don't doubt I will. You don't have to be super tanky. Yeah, you could probably do this with a leather set. I'd suggest, I, I'd suggest plate, but it's not necessary. And that last invone that you saw, I don't know what I was doing there. He's going frenzied, basically all he does in this mode is he just does a little bit more damage. I think his attacks become more frequent. I didn't really pay attention that much. Target is facing the wrong direction. Just about working him down. The Wind Lord is <clears throat> it was my first boss solo. Um, I'll post that video later on today, I guess. Because, uh, I don't know, I felt like sharing this one first. The Wind Lord was just really, really easy. This guy's a little bit more tanky, a little bit more, uh, more difficult. The Wind Lord has his, his, uh, AoE or whatever, where he throws people up in the air and shit, but... That's not too hard to avoid. The circle is absolutely unavoidable unless you run out of it. It does damage every time, no matter what. It's just about how much damage you actually let it do. As you can see, we're uh, nearing the end of the fight. And the fears get a little annoying if he hits you with each stomp, but... All in all, it's a pretty easy boss. Uh, this guide is mainly aimed at people that want to go for captures that just want to have a little bit of fun. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. He's, he's really simple. Go out and capture yourself a badass little pet. Personally, I'm probably going to go for Daruda and uh, the, the frog, the croak fiend. That'll probably be my next solo attempt, something with a little bit more hit points. This guy only has like 180,000, but uh, those guys have like 350. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you guys later.